at the end of this video you're gonna learn about what is keyframe where to find it how to go about it and also with some practical examples on how to use keyframes in CapCut PC let's get started Keyframe is a frame that indicates the beginning and the ending of a change made to a parameter of a video in the timeline. In simple words, it's when you set a point on a parameter and you set another second point on the same parameter with the different values. In between that, the changes that happen, that's what keyframes is all about. What? That still sounds complicated. It will be easier if I show you guys on CapCut software. When you open CapCut software, you can find keyframes on the right side of the software. So these are parameters that position, scale, uniform, position, all these ones are parameters. Then when you look next to them, they have values right here. When you see this is 56, all these ones are the values of these parameters. And keyframes can be found next to the values. So this diamond thing, when I move the cursor, it shows an empty diamond thing. When I move, it shows with a plus sign. So those are keyframe. Now we've not set any keyframe to that. So it's just blank. Now let me just move the playhead here and set a keyframe there. Right away when I set a keyframe, you can see it shows a blue color, meaning I've set a keyframe on that very point. And also when you look carefully in the timeline on this, I've set a keyframe right there. Now it's just one keyframe we've set. So there's no changes to the values, to the parameters where so nothing is happening. Then when I go forward to somewhere here, and then I make a keyframe on that same parameter. You can see there's another point on this very place and also the blue sign showing that I've set a keyframe on that very parameter. And now there's no changes made to the value that's 56. So the value is still the same and there's nothing changing. So basically we've not done anything to that. Now let me show you guys when I increase that, to 84. Now this is a new keyframe we've set and then when I use this arrow to go to the last keyframe that we set, you can see the value is 56 and then the ball also changes with the size. When I move the cursor on it, you can see it increases with the size and that shows the keyframe has been done with this very two point. And one thing to remember, always make sure you select that very video before setting the keyframe and also you move the playhead to the exact point you want the keyframe to be set at. Whenever you see this diamond thing next to a parameter, that means you can set a keyframe right on that spot. In this video, I'm gonna use a video, an image, an audio and also a text to show you guys the practical examples on how to use keyframes in CapCut PC. On our timeline, we have a video of a girl walking on the bridge and we want to zoom in and focus on her. With this, what you do is, if you want the effect to start from here, we take the playhead to that very place and also we click on the video. Then we'll go to the right side and set a keyframe on scale and also position. Since we want to zoom in on her face, we're gonna use the scale that's gonna increase the width and also the height of it. And the position is gonna place it on either the X axis or the Y axis. So with this, I want the keyframe to end somewhere here. So I'll move my playhead to this side, select the video, and then set a second keyframe on scale and also position. And now I've done no changes to that value. So it's still gonna stay the same. Now what you do is just increase the scale of it. And right here, you can see when we increase it, she's kind of disappearing from the screen. Now you will use the on screen to just drag it so we can put her in the middle of the frame. And when I leave that, you can see the position and also the Y axis changes values. When I move to this very first keyframe that we set, you can see the values were zero, but then when you go to the second keyframe, the values changes. So one thing about this keyframe too is, whenever you set a first keyframe and you set a second keyframe and you change the values, it's gonna automatically set a keyframe point for you. So now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. Nice and clean, it zooms in and it goes towards her. Now there's one important tip about keyframes. If you want the transition to be fast, all you have to do is move the second keyframe you set closer to the first keyframe. I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. It goes really fast, but then if you want it to be slower, then all you have to do is move it away from the first keyframe 
and then I'll play and show you guys. It's gonna take a time before it zooms in to the girl. So as you can see, whilst it get here, it's gonna zoom in. Is this an image of a tennis ball? And this is our first video. Drag the tennis ball on top of the video. Let's just make it small for now. With images, let's say we want the tennis ball to come from the left side and come in on the screen. So with this, you just click on the tennis ball. Make sure you take your player to where you want the keyframe to set. Then you go to position and make a keyframe there since we want to use the movement from the left side of the screen. Then go to where you want the animation to end and make sure you take the playhead there and still select that image. Then go to the right side, set a keyframe on that same parameter, that's the position. Now use this arrow to go to the previous keyframe that we set and with X as is, just decrease it so the ball disappears on the screen. If it's moving slow, you can use the on-screen controls and just move it till it disappear on the screen. Now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. So our ball comes in from the left on the screen and that's some animation you can use on all your images or your PNG files. Now with the audio, this is a music I got online. We just drag it and drop it under or below the video or if you're using an image. And then when I play and show you guys, You can see the song is still kind of loud and I can't really hear myself. So this is how you use the keyframes on audio. With this, I'll just take my playhead to somewhere here, click on the audio or the song and go to the right side on volume. I'll just set a keyframe on there. And then whilst I start to talk, I'll take my playhead there and go to where I start to talk or where my voice comes in. Then I'll select the audio, go to the right side and set another keyframe on volume and this time around I'll just drag it or lower the volume and right here when you look at the waveform when I drag it downwards it lowers the volume on that side so now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like so as you can see when I start talking the audio goes down and that's how you can use keyframe to get a song to be really lower than your talking or your talking head videos and now on titles, there's a title that I just wrote something on the screen. With this, what you do is go to where you want to set the first keyframe, take the playhead there and click on the test. Go to the right side, scroll down, and then you can make keyframe on scale. Then you go to where you want to set your second keyframe, take the playhead there and make sure you select the test and make another keyframe on scale. And this time around, we'll just increase the size of it. So now I'll play and show you guys. It comes in nice and clean and it looks kind of fast. So I'll just drag it away from the first one and slow it down and show you guys how it looks like. It comes in nice and slow and that's some cool animation you can use on your test. In this next video, you get to know seven effects you can create in CapCut PC. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.